Beans. Um, how are you guys doing? Oh my god. I'm not okay. I don't think you are either. So, you know what? It's fine. So this morning I sat down to watch a YouTube video and while I'm watching this YouTube video, I'm watching a vlogmas video, I'm like, oh, let me open Instagram. And I get this picture of the back of Taylor's head. I'm like, hmm, what girl? And then I see it has no caption and I'm like, excuse me. And then I click on her profile. And that's when I knew it was over. That's when I died. So, of course, you guys, I'm gonna try and do this intro right now, but my brain is not here. We're gonna listen to Evermore tonight. Also, real quick, before we get into this, um, just let you guys know, I do have a Patreon now. It's a new thing for me. Um, and over on Patreon, I'm gonna post this video with no cuts, so we'll just kinda listen to the whole album together. I also have my Uncut Folklore album reaction over there. I have other Uncut album reactions, shout outs, requests, all kinds of stuff like that. And if you're interested in any of that, I'll link it down below. It's also just a great way to help support the channel if you want to. Um, no pressure whatsoever, just wanna make that very, very clear. And again, thank you so much to everybody who's already gone over there. You guys truly just mean the world to me. So thank you so much. And um, let's, <laughs> Evermore? <laughs> Is this happening? No, it's not. Before we jump into the album, which we're going to do in 30 minutes, because it is 11.30 p.m. right now, um, I just want to take a quick look at the track list with you guys. Looking at this track list, though, I already claimed Closure. Closure is going to rip my soul out and just stomp all over it, and I'm welcoming it to do so, but I'm going in cautiously. I'm kind of sad that we don't get Right Where You Left Me and It's Time To Go tonight. Those are the two bonus tracks that only come on the physical copy of the album because I think those two tracks are gonna be like deep. I think those are gonna be big tracks too. A quick little thing um, for anybody who did watch the folklore reaction, just a little life update. I am doing a lot better than I was back in July. Folklore, I'm gonna cry thinking about it, but um, folklore came out at a time where I really, really needed it and it was just an album that was part of my healing process from what I was going through back in July and August and that in August hint hint and I'm doing a lot better now I am definitely still dealing with a little bit of it and weirdly enough in the past week some of that stuff from July got dug back up in my brain again and then Taylor was like oh and here's another album and I'm like oh no <laughs> I'm concerned, but hopefully I don't feel as much pain going through this album. I know, I feel like you guys want me to go through a lot of pain. The number of people that, that were like, oh my God, I loved watching you cry. I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, it's actually only 11.30, so I'm gonna go get some coffee, get some snacks, get some water, and I'll see you guys at midnight. I'm back, it's 11.59, the trophy. Don't mind me. The trophy dad mug has returned. <gasps> Sorry, it's here. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys. It's sitting right here in front of me. I'm just scared to hit play. Like, I don't... Much like with Folklore, this doesn't feel real. This feels even less real. <sighs> I'm gonna hit play on the first track, which is Willow. Here we go again. <laughs> Rough on the surface, but you cut through the leg and Why is Wreck My Plans ringing a bell? Didn't she name something Wreck... Wasn't there like a merch collection that was Wreck My Plans? Taylor. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm already going back. Um, did she say like, the more you say, the less I know? Oh my god. I already feel it in my soul. The more that you say, the less I know. Whatever you say, my plans, oh. that's my man. No. Life was a Like the lakes a little bit. I come back stronger than a nineties trend. Wait for the signal when I'll meet you after day Gonna go through this, really? 
take my hand, wreck my plans. Just do it. I don't even care. Just do it! I'm like the water when you sit rolling at night. I can't get an entire new folklore. Guys, do you realize how many songs? That's like 30. Two. Guys, that song is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. I can't breathe right now. We're gonna go to Champagne Problems. I think it's kind of funny. Um, Katy Perry just released a song called Champagne Problems, but I have a feeling they're gonna sound very different, these two songs. <gasps> Wait, it's kind of pretty. You booked the night train for a reason. What's with the trains? Oh my god. You could sit there in this I'm doing really well, remember? Remember? I got over everything. Called it champagne I the way she said champagne. <sighs> oh, great. We're already looking cute. Track two. Track two. I didn't get any tissues, damn it. One for the money, two for the show. I never was ready, so I asked you. She would have made such a lovely bride. What a shame she's stuck in her head. Not that's no. This is so fucking sad, Taylor. No, I really hate this so much. <laughs> Shit. Okay. You know what? This is fine. I didn't. Um. Okay. Yeah. That's my feelings. Deflating the clown in me that didn't grab a box of tissues. Um, I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a real quick minute. I'll be right back. We got a whole ass roll of toilet paper because it's gonna be a long night, okay? So that was champagne problems, and that was so incredibly painful and beautiful, and I loved it. Oh my god, the perspective of that song. I hate that I related to that from the perspective of honestly both sides. So I know we've only done two songs so far, but that one was my favorite. <laughs> I'm not okay. Oh, okay, next is Gold Rush. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. like the intro the hair dominoes lyric might be my favorite part of that entire song and the way i wasn't i was like oh we're getting a really flowy beautiful song and then it just kind of dropped and i was like Ugh. she said folklore did you hear it i heard it oh my god next is tis the damn season is she putting like a full-on christmas song in the album oh that one into my soul Oh no, I don't like how close this one hits at all. This is already about like those kind of forever crushes in my opinion, like those forever flings, those ones that never really go away. This whole fucking song. Why does she write songs that are the exact interpretation of exactly what I go through? How does she do that? Leave the warmest bed I've ever known. Like, I don't know how she 
she does that when she takes everything you're feeling and she puts it all into a song every aspect of that song i related to go back to la and leave your hometown and stuff like that <laughs> taylor nation just emailed me to let me know the album's out thank you I am suffering already. Don't worry about it. All right, what's next? Where are we going? Oh shit, we're on track five. This is called Tolerate It, which concerns me so much because what, what are we, why are we toler- I need my tissues. I sit and watch you beating with your head low. Wait by the door like I'm just a kid. But you tolerate it. Like it goes real deep. Um, oh wow. Okay, so this one felt very deep to me. You know what I kind of pictured when I was listening to this song was like wives back in the day who sat around and catered to their husbands because that was the role of a woman. Now, that's just, for whatever reason, that's the imagery that I got from that song. I'm probably not correct, but for whatever reason, like the way she just said, like, you know, I, I polish the dishes, I sit around and, you know, basically cater to you and you just tolerate me and don't celebrate me or love me or, oh my God, oh no, oh no. Y'all, I just realized I've been listening to the non-explicit version. I didn't realize there were two. So now we're gonna listen to the track featuring Haim. This is No Body, No Crime. <gasps> no way. Sirens. like a classic country song like that was so country not just in the sound but lyrically mm, 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 mm. okay oh my god i wasn't ready for the like twist she got me i feel like i should have seen it coming but i didn't oh the storytelling no the storytelling Whew. all right what is next happiness i was looking for happiness
play the next song yet, please. Thank you very much. I feel the same way I did with the folklore video where like these songs end and I don't know what to say. Because nothing I say is gonna sound remotely interesting after that. How does she do that? I don't get it. No other artist has this effect on me. Taylor Swift, for whatever reason, has the ability to climb into my freaking soul and just maneuver around and find all my darkest, deepest fears and secrets and sadnesses. And she's like, hello, here you go. I'm gonna wrap them in a nice little box. I'm gonna put some poetry in it and I'm gonna give it to you and you're gonna fall apart. The next song is Dorothy. I heard some theories that either Dorothy or Marjorie was about her grandmother. I think, actually, I think that might be Marjorie, but I'm not sure. Do you ever stop and think about me? When we were young, the tiny screen's the only place I see you now. And I've got nothing but always know me. Dorothy. Who is Dorothy though? Whoa, what is this about? Dorothea? It's not Dorothy? It's Dorothea? Oh my god, I'm so I'm so sorry. Betty. This one didn't include any James, so you know there were no like pronouns in it. That one was so nostalgic and sad and beautiful and pretty, and I loved it. Coney Island featuring the National. No, no, no. Not those little doop doop doops. If I can't relate to you any more than who am I related to? Over and over. Again with no surprises. Oh, that's pounds my head. What's a lifetime of achievement? Hi. Happy birthday. Did I paint your blue skies? The darkest gray color universe. The accident, the sight that flashed before me was your face. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Did I forgot to say your name? I'm on. <gasps> Wait. Fast times, bright lights, the merry go, making you my centerfold. Hold on. Did he die? Or am I being overly dramatic as usual? When I got to the accident, your face. It was your, whatever, your face, hello? The sight that flashed before me was your face, but when I walked up to the podium, I think that I forgot to say your name. He says I got into the accident, and she says when I walked up to the podium, and when I hear when I walked up to the podium, I'm like, at the funeral. I'm probably, once again, having an incorrect interpretation of this song, but, um... <laughs> Did he freaking die? The imagery, like the sitting on the bench and the trees. She talks about a lot of trees. There's just like a really comforting but sad imagery and emotion that just like comes with this song. Again, I'm just kind of feeling speechless. You know how these Taylor Swift reactions go nowadays. I just cry. That's all we do. Oh, next is Ivy. Um, cool. the bones and the faithful got to the storm from her grave? questions to me like the way that i was feeling that song there were like things i didn't understand 
But I was like, she died and left her husband, like, alive. And now her husband is with another woman who essentially, like, took her place after she died. But, oh my god, there were so many things I didn't understand that that's probably incorrect. My battery's gonna die because it's taken me, like, two hours to film this much. So next we have cowboy like me. I really have no idea what this is gonna be like. Steven claimed this one, I think. Steven? Yeah, y'all know Steven. Guitar underneath is oh, it's nice. I love the instrumental on this one. Oh, it's so comforting. Oh, it was like a warm hug. Oh my god, this one kind of felt like, I mean, obviously it's called Cowboy Like Me, but it felt like it had that little bit of old country, you know? I mean, it literally, it's called Cowboy Like Me, so obviously, but it just, ooh, do 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 I was already it. Oh my god, don't do that. I love the instrumental on that one. It's just really pretty and like flowy and mm -hmm. I could just go into my little cardigan house and just sleep. Okay, so next is Long Story Short. And of course, the second I see this title, I think of The Story of Us, which was a potential long story cut short. And I feel like that's where this song's gonna go. To me, it's gonna be like a long story cut short, but we'll see. Whoa. At the war of words, I shouted in my sleep. That's the happy one. That's the invisible string of this one. Though we found each other and we're finally happy and in love. Invisible string and now long story short are my two like strive to relate someday songs. Oh, that one was so fun and cute. I love it. Long story short, I was a wrong guy. Okay. Okay, I can't tell if this album is a lot less sad overall or if I'm just less sad. Could that be... Could that be true? I think it is which makes me happy. Sorry if you wanted me to cry more. I'm just not as sad as I was in July. <laughs> oh, next is Marjorie, where I think this is the one that people thinks about her grandmother because it would connect to Epiphany, which was about her grandfather. Never be so clever, you forget to be kind. Oh. I think you were talking to me now. Oh. But I didn't stay there. Every course, restore, receipt, cause every scrap of you would 
be taken from me. Now you left them all to me. Oh no! <laughs> that one is like obviously so sad but it also makes you appreciate the people that you do still have because you know she says I should have you know kept every receipt I should have written it all down I that all mm, like really just makes you think about the people you still have and how much you should appreciate them and love them and listen to them wow that one was beautiful <laughs> she just Hit me with truck of sadness. Guys, we have two songs left. This next one is Closure, which is one that I'm definitely nervous for, very excited for at the same time. There's a couple different ways I think she could go with this one. <gasps> what? Oh no. Seeing the shape of your name still spells out pain. Yes, I got your letter. Yes, I'm doing better. It could deep to know you're right. Fine with my spite and my tears and my beers and my candles. <laughs> oh, me? Closure. Wow. Closure. Yeah. You closure. Yeah. It's fake and it's also so unnecessary. Yes, I'm doing better. I know that it's over. Yes, I'm doing better. There was like a song that like felt slightly bitter. The lyrics were saying, I'm fine, I moved on, I'm good, don't worry, I'm good, or whatever. But there was a little bit of bitterness behind it and a little bit of not truly being okay, but I don't know if that's just because I'm looking at it from my personal perspective. I don't need your closure. Wow. Mm. <laughs> what? This song took a little bit of a different turn than I expected. I thought it was going to be about needing closure and it was about not needing closure. Okay guys, so this brings us, oh no, to the last track, to the title track, to the second track featuring Bon Iver, Justin Vernon. I think we'll be okay. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Green November, I've been down since June. Gray November, I've been down since July. No, no, that's fine. Trying to find the one where I went wrong. Writing letters that this pain would be for evermore. Hey, December, guess I'm feeling unmoored. What I used to fight for. believe she finished by switching it from I felt the pain would be forever more to I felt it wouldn't be forever more hell was a journey but it brought me heaven that's one of my favorites without a doubt I literally cannot believe that she opened this with great November I've been down since July and then I could relate like so like specific specific moment i was catching my breath staring out an open window catching my death and i couldn't be sure i'd be feeling so peculiar this pain would be forever more i can't even begin to describe how that perfectly like encapsulates everything that i felt in that moment in july and then for her to finish with it wouldn't be forever more so that was ever more 
We did it! I can't believe we now have Folklore and Evermore. We have so many songs that fit under the perfect genre for me. Folklore was what I always wanted from her and now we have another one. I'm like crying but I'm feeling so much joy in my heart. Thank you Taylor, thank you so much for this. So I am editing this tonight but first listen ranking, I'll give you that. It's gonna be literally a first listen and first edit ranking and that's about it, here it is. Oh my God, don't kill me. It's a first listen ranking. I'm sure it's going to change drastically um, as time goes on. I can't thank her enough. And again, thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me and um, experiencing this with me. It's been really amazing. I guess that's all I can say. Thank you, Taylor Swift. I'll go now. I'll go edit this so I can give it to you guys because I know I'm gonna log on to Twitter and I'm just gonna be a bunch of see a bunch of tweets that are like, wait, so did you edit it yet? I'll be like, no! Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you wanna like and subscribe, you wanna hang out some more, feel free to do so. Um, but if you don't, that's okay too. And I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys.